Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Wild Yak from the Little Tibet. Today we're going to continue from our previous topic regarding Tibetan singing bowl in the chakra healing. So in this topic we're going to discuss about throat chakra. Basically throat chakra lies on your throat area. It's represented by a musical note of A and in terms of color that's blue and in terms of celestial body, that is Venice, and metal, which can represent throat chakra, is copper. So, when you have a good throat chakra, that means you, when you have a balanced throat chakra, that uh, means you can speak truthfully without any effort, and you can have a good vocal communication skills. So when someone has a someone's throat chakra is weakened or it's been blocked or it's been unbalanced, then uh, the individual tends to gossip a lot, fear to speak truthfully, and very shy in constant sore throat, mouth ulcers, and thyroid issues also associated with unbalanced throat chakra. So what you can do about it? You can do a lot of things to improve your throat chakra. In terms of therapy. You can do meditation and also you can do sound therapy. So today we're going to use a Tibetan singing bowl which rep which represents the throat chakra and try to heal throat chakra with that Tibetan singing bowl. So next time when you uh, when it happens to um, look into a singing bowl you know what to expect. So I have this bowl. This bowl is 30, 30 to 40 years old. It's quite aged, but it's very small. That's 700 grams in weight and 16 centimeter in diameter. So it's very easy to carry if you're going uh, uh, around. And also, most importantly, it sings a uh, three notes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the bowl and I want to, you to listen and have experience. So. Next time when you have your own bowl, you can not only hear, you can feel more. Here you go. That's when you play the ball with the stick. Now I'm going to take a mallet and stroke the ball gently. I stroke again. One more time. That's it. This is the bow. Uh, so if you want to know more about how to play, how to handle the ball, then you have to check some of the, my earlier episodes regarding how to play and how to look at the singing ball. And if you want to know more about the chakra healing, then I have other episodes uh, along with this one to deal with all other chakras. So thanks for listening and I hope it helps you understand a little bit more about chakra and the Tibetan singing ball. So I hope to see you again. And thank you for listening. Bye-bye.